Hey everyone, uh, before we get started today, I would just like to introduce you to this puppy named Chunky. Um, this is a, a little puppy that a friend of mine has been fostering for a few months now, and he just found his forever home. Uh, good for you, Chunky. You deserve it. <laughs> anyway, um, he's in need of some surgery to, to help with his breathing problems, so uh, my friend has uh, started a little GoFundMe for Chunky's surgery, and uh, I just thought maybe we could help her out a little bit, so I'm going to leave a link to uh, Chunky's uh, GoFundMe down below. If you can donate, that's great. Um, if you can share the link, that's also great. Every little bit helps here. It's just, um, th this dog's a good puppy, and uh, and I want him to be able to live a long, happy life. So, uh, just, if you can, check out the GoFundMe for Chunk. And uh, after that wholesomeness, let's get on to the weirdness and this very, very messed up movie. Hey everybody, um, I actually don't have a video planned for today because I actually have today off. <laughs> um, after many busy weeks, I actually have a day off. This is such a rare occurrence and uh, I actually don't know what to do with myself right now. What do people do on their days off? This doesn't happen that often. Uh, well, anyway, um, I'm going to be off there. I'm going to go try to make some plans for today. Huh. Uh, it looks like, um, this is how I'm going to be spending my day off. Not really what I would have planned for today, but, eh, could be worse, I guess. Just consider yourselves lucky that I decided to wear pants today. Well, I might as well talk about some trash, since I'm in the trash. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Trash Reviews, where I take a look at the trashier side of cinema. Today we're looking at a very mean-spirited horror movie, also one that's incredibly graphic and disturbing, and that is The Sinful Dwarf. <laughs> What we have here is a movie that's part of the genre known as the Ruffies. This particular genre of exploitation is more hardcore than one would expect. You had the sexploitation films, which were more light-hearted fun. There was eroticism in them, but it was all meant to be enjoyable. The Ruffies are more hardcore. They're more about abuse and sexual violence, taking this aspect of sexploitation films to an uncomfortable extreme. Now, I have to admit that The Sinful Dwarf is the only movie in this genre that I have seen, but I've heard of others, such as Forced Entry and Bad Girls Go to Hell. This is a movie meant for people who like more extreme stuff. The Sinful Dwarf is very graphic, but not in a bloody way, in more of a sexual way. Due to the graphic nature of this movie, there is a lot that I cannot show on YouTube. A lot! that I cannot show on YouTube. We'll get into that in a minute. And also, there is some subject matter in here that might be disturbing to sensitive viewers, so trigger warning. If, if you are sensitive to certain subject matters, I, I would say it's okay to avoid this video. 
The movie takes place at a boarding house owned by Leela Lash, a former nightclub owner trying to relive her former glory, and her son Olaf, who is a dwarf with a mean streak. A newlywed couple, Peter and Mary, end up taking a room at the boarding house, but unbeknownst to them, in a secret room upstairs in the attic, Leela and Olaf run a white slavery ring. They have a bunch of young women that they get addicted to heroin so they won't run away, and they have men pay them money to go upstairs and have their way with them. As you would guess, Mary becomes suspicious of the goings-on in the house, and it leads to very bad things. This wasn't the first movie to use the idea of using drugs in a sex trafficking ring. We saw this both in Pink Flamingos and Thriller A Cruel Picture, which I think came out the same year as The Sinful Dwarf. The horror from this movie comes from the depravity. There were two versions of The Sinful Dwarf released, the international triple X version and the United States regular X version. Fun fact about the X rating, yes, the X rating was created by the MPAA, but it was never trademarked by the MPAA. So as a result, a lot of filmmakers, or at least exploitation filmmakers, used the X rating as a gimmick. And the more X's used in the rating, the more hardcore the movie was considered to be. So the triple X rating is not a real rating. It was more of a gimmick. One of the most disturbing things about The Sinful Dwarf is how it takes childlike elements and perverts them in a way. We're always seeing Olaf playing with toys. We see toys all around the boarding house. I'm guessing this was a metaphor for how the women upstairs are treated. They are treated like toys. I have more toys upstairs. And they also have a drug dealer who works at a toy store whose code name is Santa Claus. This idea of making childlike elements creepy is used mostly with the villains. Leela is constantly playing dress up. Like I said, she's trying to relive her life as a nightclub actress. And Olaf acts very childlike, not only by playing with toys, but acting childish in certain scenes. And that adds to the creepiness because you have these very childlike people doing absolutely horrible, horrible things. You see? It is a nice soft bed! <laughs> the movie mostly takes place in one location, the boarding house, due to its small budget, but it's never boring. It's always creepy and disturbing, even when graphic stuff isn't happening on screen. That's mostly for two reasons. One, because we know what's happening in the hidden room upstairs. We know the terrible things that are happening to these women. So even when we're not seeing it, we still know it's happening, and that gives us a creepy, unsettling, and bad feeling throughout the film. The second reason is the sinful dwarf himself, Olaf. He's such an unsettling and creepy character. He always has this grimace on his face, the way he moves, and the fact that he really seems to enjoy what he's doing. Every horrible thing he does in this film, he does with this sort of glee. This one's a hard movie for me to recommend, not because it's a bad movie, but because it's so graphic, so hardcore, so disturbing and depressing in its story. It is very well done, but it's not a movie like Toxic Avenger, Multiple Maniacs, or Meet the Feebles, where it's dirty and fun with its bad taste. It's made to make you feel uncomfortable, and a lot of people don't like that when it comes to movies, and I completely understand that. If you think you can handle something that's 
much more graphic in its sexuality, nudity, and mean-spirited nature than I would recommend The Sinful Dwarf. It's a very hard movie to watch, and it's very well done at being hard to watch. Thank you all for joining me in another episode of Trash Reviews. I hope you continue to enjoy this weird series while I continue to embrace my weirdness. And uh, please go check out the link to Chunky's GoFundMe down below. Let's try to help the little guy out if we can, and thank you all so much for that. I hope you're all having a good day right now, and um, I might as well continue to try to enjoy my day off. I mean, hey, I do have the day off, so I might as well try to enjoy myself. Hey, think about it this way. When I'm in here, I'm not working. Someone at least turn the TV on for me so I can have some background noise.